Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video about uh, the calibration of point control. But before talking about point control itself and its calibration, I would like to spend a couple of words on the helmet mounted sensor. The helmet mounted sensor is placed on your VR headset with some double side sticker. In my case, I use some Velcro because on top of my uh, VR headset, I have a camera. So just in case I need to use my headset without uh, point control, I like to be able to remove the HMS. And that's why. Uh, other than that, this cable here is to power the unit. Uh, the green light that you can see here uh, says that it's just powered. There is a red light and I want you to see, you should be able to see a, a red light. That means that the unit is transmitting data. Um, you can make a test if uh, your point control behaves erratically. You can put your headset this way, look at the red light and pan it around. And if you see it turning on, it means that there is some disturbance. It could be that you have your track IR um, thing on, on your desk pointing this way. Or there is a window uh, on the side or behind you that is from which a strong source of light is coming into a dark room that will definitely disturb it or some other IR sources. It could also be your wristwatch. So beware if everything is OK and you're still having a problem with the left point control, then just remove your wristwatch. So uh, button number one here is used to disable the cursor. How do you know if the cursor is disabled? Well, if you press it and the mouse cursor goes from the middle of the monitor away uh, top left, that means you are turning it off. If it goes the opposite way, that means you are turning it on. Uh, button number two here to the right, if you press it for five seconds, you're going to enter setup mode, which is what we're going to use in just a minute. The white button is uh, reset. Uh, the same thing as if you uh, plug, uh, unplug the USB and you plug it back in, that's what it does. It's the same thing. If you want to factory reset the unit, you press one and two. And while you keep it pressed, you press reset and then you let go. And then you let go one and two. Then you reset all the internal parameters to the factory uh, default. These one on the side, these ones uh, are the auxiliary button. They are not needed for operation of point control. These are an extra feature that you can decide to purchase or not. If you do, they are hard wired to the four, the first six letters of the keyboard q w e r t y and they are quite use useful okay um i'd like to spend a couple of words on point control itself for uh, the um, the setup the calibration we're just going to use the left unit it has to be worn with the light facing your way uh, here you see the on off button. That's the on off button which we're going to use. While you wear it, the farther away from you button is the number one, the one in the middle is button number two, and the one closer to you is button number three. Button number one and two are used to scroll through the various um, menus. Button number three is to enter each phase of the setup and calibration. And button on off is to be pressed to confirm your setup. Once you calibrated the unit in one particular menu, at the end you have to press on off so that the system will capture your calibration. Okay. So at this point, we're going to talk about uh, Voice Assistant. It's a software that you need to use. Exclu exclusively when you decide to calibrate the unit. Otherwise, you don't need to use it to operate a, a point control. Okay, let's get in there. 
And here we are. Once you open uh, Voice Assist, the button to the left of the logo is to uh, turn off this voice. This voice that is actually very handy while you do the calibration with the VR on because, you, of course, you cannot read anything. But for the moment, while I explain you a couple of things, I decided to turn it off. So the first thing to do is to select the COM port that you are plugged into through this cable here. So you want to look at this page and select the ports until the first, the top light turns green. So one is not the right one. Two, three, four. Connected to port. Audio assist is now connected to a COM port. To confirm that point control is also connected to this same port, press the right black button on your point control. Okay, so we're now connected. The next step, sorry, I need to take it again, is to um, connect point control. Point control is now linked to audio assist. But it okay, so you press button number two and you have the second green light. Now, if you keep pressed button number two now for more than five seconds, you're going to be in setup mode. We're going to do that now, and then we're going to put the uh, VR headset away because we need to do something preliminary, which is not uh, uh, the calibration of the unit. We just need to bring the mouse pointer close to the center of the monitor so that when you wear your headset and you're going to start your calibration, they will not be outside your field of view. That's, that's the only reason why we have to do this. So we take the headset, we press number two for five seconds. The COM port is now connected to both the audio assistant and point control and in the setup mode. And we put it away. Okay. Now we're going to take the left FCU, finger control unit. We're going to turn it on. Five point calibration. With button this one step and is two. conducted after you have completed step one. With one and two, we're going to scroll through until we find set cursor target. So exit menu. This is not the one, this is the exit menu. And if I would press number three, we would actually exit menu or actually exit uh, the setup. Set cursor targets. That's the one we need. Set cursor targets is used to initially. Now I'm going to press number three. We're going to enter set cursor target. At that point, I cannot silence her anymore. I'll try to speak a little louder so that you can listen to me. Um, so we're going to have the two pointer first or spaced uh, horizontally. What we have to do, we have to move them left and right. And then we need to move them closer. In fact, we just have to move them closer. And then we uh, confirm with the on off button. We're going to have two pointer vertically. We're going to bring them closer, confirm again, and that's it. Again, we do this preliminarily only so that when we put the headset and we do this again uh, for real, they're not going to be outside our field of view. You have entered the set cursor targets function. Now you see the two cursor horizontally. If this is flashing. your first time setting up point control. You should be viewing with button your one and two. With the voice I can actually button one. I can bring them closer. The DCS and then with on off, I'm going to confirm. You may reference accepted. Accepted. You should now see now the cursors at the top and bottom of your view. Now we have two pointers spaced vertically. Again, I have Our to bring them closer. Our goal is to move the cursors so they are just visible button inside your one. vertical field of view. We will use the three closer, buttons closer, on the FCU closer, closer, to move closer, the cursors closer, vertically. And I guess that's enough. Buttons one and two. On off. We'll now move the cursors up and down together. Or cursor targets saved. Done. Exiting to the setup menu. Five point calibration. This step is conducted after you have edge calibration. So with five button, point calibration. With this button step one is conducted and two, after you have exit menu. I'm going through the various options. Okay, what what we have. Let, let me call them for you. It's step number one, which is set cursor target. Set, step number two is five point calibration, as you can see in this voice assist. And these two are the only one you actually need to calibrate your unit. Uh, if you want, you can also do edge calibration. It's kind of a fine tune of the ability of the 
pointer to stay in one place as you move your head slightly, but it's not really mandatory or necessary. FCU mapping is to change the behavior of the three buttons. You will never need it, in my opinion. FCU proximity zoom, it's uh, disabled at the moment, and that's all there is. So all you need to do is step one, set cursor target. Step two, five point calibration. That's all you have to do. In case you are not satisfied with the factory setting, which I said before uh, already, most of the time is good enough. So you don't need to do any of this most of the time. So exit setup. So number three is going to confirm my selection, which was exit setup. Exiting setup to operational mode. OK, we have done our preliminary action. Next step is to be done within the VR. So I'll see you there. So welcome back inside the VR view. And it's time now to proceed with the actual calibration. All right. So first thing first, we have to go inside setup mode. And to do that, we press button number two for five Mode seconds. Control is now linked to audio. The COM port is now connected to both the audio assistant and point control, and in the setup mode. Okay, then you we're going to look for menus by pressing FCU button step one number one, to change the five point calibration. which is not the one. This step is conducted after you exit menu. No. Set cursor targets. Yes. Set cursor targets. Set Remember. Cursor targets is used to initially position with the one and two, that we will be you with scroll through the various five point parts of the menu, and with number three, you're going to enter. You have entered the set cursor targets function. Okay. Now you can see the two cursors. You should be viewing your monitor. With the and what we need to do, we, we need to center the them DCS left and right and then we need to expand them until they are almost out of our view peripheral view so they seem pretty center to me already so with button number two i'm going to bring them to the edge of my view for first time setup and i think they are there already and cursors inside the red circles Okay, I don't want to exaggerate. Using the if I press button number three, reference, move left or right. I can now move them left or right. So with button, button number three, you change. You keep on changing between these two, two uh, methods. One is to make it wider or narrower, and the other one is to slew them left or right. Okay, that's with number three. You're going to cycle uh, between these two method methods. If you're okay with the situation, if you if they are centered enough and they are wide enough, then you press but the on-off button. Accepted. Okay, that's accepted. Now, see now you see the, the two cursor flashing. Again, what we want to do, we want to bring them up and down, spread them apart until they touch the peripheral of the view at the same time. If one reaches it way before the other one, then it's time to actually slew them together. So button number three is going to spread them apart. The limit of cursor movement is usually close to limit of your field of view. So this step is usually... I'm going to come back a little, press number three. I'm going to move them up a little, cursor three spacing. again, cursor spacing, and that's it. I think that's the edge of the view. All right, I'm happy with that, so on off button. Cursor target saved, exiting to the setup menu, five point calibration. So step number step one is, is complete, after you have now step, step number one, two. Set cursor targets going to enter point calibration five point calibration you should now so we're going to do now the five the point cockpit, calibration you fly. in you order to do that you have to stretch your out. arm and point with your finger something that is uh, right in front of you in my case i'm going to use the order. apu fire Center, handle left, that you right, can see right top, in front of us it is once you are exactly there with your finger it's a you good idea to put, put the, the screen 
pointer in the same place and you press button 1. Now you see a cross to the left of the view, you bring it to the same place and you press button 1. Now you see to the right, you bring it to the same place, you press button 1. Then you Again, see it on the top, move your finger from your original you bring it to the point. same place, press 1. Accepted. You see Again, to the bottom, you bring it up to the same place. Point. Excellent. Five point calibration is complete. Exiting setup to operational mode. And that's the five point calibration and automatically after you completed the second step, the unit is going to go out of setup mode back into operational mode. If we want to complete the third step, the one which is not mandatory nor necessary, uh, is just a fine tuning, you can go back to setup mode. This step is exit menu. Five point calibration. This step is edge calibration. Edge calibration. This is the one we're talking about. In order to do this, you have to look at one of the two monitor. Five point calibration. This step is edge calibration. Enter. Okay, now you see the cursor there. You're going to put it in the middle of the monitor. And then once it's there in the middle of the monitor, you move your head to the right slowly and if it moves with one and two you're going to recenter it then you're going to move up accept it with the button three going to move down Accept it, and that's the end of it. Exiting setup to operational mode. Okay, let's now try the movement of our point control. It is quite precise, and uh, yeah, these are the two slash three steps for calibration of. Uh, point control and again most of the time you will not need it because the factory setting is should be good enough so i hope you find these uh, useful put a like uh, if that's the case and other than that i'll see you next time bye bye